So you already left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here. Actually, he's I'm not, not here. here. I'm in Vancouver. <laughs> okay, today we're talking about el recluso. Yes, oh, instead of doing it in English. What? Coming in September. At this what time? Show. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. On Telemundo. <laughs> <laughs> this show looks really good. I mean, I'm not usually a Telemundo watcher, but it does, I, I, right? I watch it for this. This is like great well, production cool concept. Quality. You know, honestly, I, 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 if I have to be honest, I never watched Telemundo before, and this really, um, not because I'm in it, but <laughs> um, but they really stepped it up and they took risks, and I've been waiting forever for, you know, for a, a Spanish network to to go. You know what? We can do as good productions mm -hmm. as the rest of the world. And I hope that we delivered. I watched Telemundo before. I worked with Telemundo before. Okay, don't make me feel like... Don't make, <laughs> o uh, sea... Bueno, I'm just be, I'm being honest. No, no, it's okay, uh, it's okay. There's lots of people like you, and there's lots of people like me. Everybody can relate we're to whoever they want. We're trying to change that, right? No, and um, I, I really think this is something different. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's, it's amazing. They really stepped it up. Mm. And um, it talks about empathy, about corruption, about uh, power, game power. And uh, I think everybody's yeah, going to like it. Yeah, mistreatment of prisoners, overpopulation in jails. That's mm -hmm. a big topic right now. It's a big deal here. Not just here, but this place takes place in Mexico. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, yeah. it's kind of the same, similar thing. Yeah. Yeah. And also the kind of things that you get arrested for and the, <laughs> the little misdemeanors and, and the people that get put in the, the same cell as a mass murderer, and which yeah. makes no sense, you know. And now you're an ex-U.S. Marine yeah. sent yeah. in to, you know, yeah. but you're pretending to be a prisoner. Yes, correct. Um, so that's that's already scary right there. He, right? He, he's trying to get, get a girl that's uh, being... That was kidnapped. That yeah. was kidnapped. Yeah. And they're an hiding American. her there. So. Yeah, an American girl that was kidnapped and... I'm a social worker. Frida Villarreal. She's an angel. <laughs> I'm She's an angel between everybody. all this darkness. She's trying to rehabilitate all these, these, these crazy, dangerous... And some not dangerous. That's what you learn yeah. too. That it's not. A lot of them have really good hearts. A lot of the uh, prisoners that you interview on the show, they're yeah. they have really good hearts, and their characters yeah. like they're no like. And uh, but unfortunately, they got to put on this the shield, shield, and they got to do that in front of their gangs because yeah. of the pressure. And and uh, but they end up, you know, you you find out that you really get to like them a lot, and you. And you fall for these characters, and you want them to do well. Some aren't even criminals, criminals at all. Right. That's what I was saying. They get yeah. put into this, the same hellhole, with true criminals, and you know, you go, wow, that's really unfair, and that's scary. Yeah. And it's a limited series. It's like Correct. Thirteen, 13 episodes, right? 13 so episodes. you'll get, you know, you'll get to the end quick. So that's good. Real quick. Usually if it's a long series. You thirteen wait. nights in a row. It's not a um, telenovela. It's like a Netflix, but on It's not a telenovela. It's a serious. And uh, yeah. the trailer shows a lot of action. So are you going to continue to have some action, fight scenes? Some there is a lot yeah, of action. Yeah, there's a lot of action. A lot. There's a lot of actions, a lot of um, uh, fighting. There's a lot of, um, yeah, it's a lot. Of, it's an adrenaline-filled um, show. There's a lot of adrenaline. Constantly, constantly, you're on the edge. Constantly, you're thinking, man, someone's going to get killed. She might get killed. What's going to happen? Because even the scenes that she has with me and with other prisoners, even though you're sitting down and they're just talking, she's still sitting in front of a, of a prisoner that could get up and, and do something. So you're on, you're on the edge all the time. Yeah. And I heard even the sets were kind of scary, right? They were. There was a, yeah. you, know, there was a, like, you actually felt like you were in yeah. Bridget, that setting. Bridget, Bridget, who was yeah. uh, on charge of that, did an amazing job, yeah. really. Uh, they even smelled like a real prison. Mm -hmm. Well... That's what they say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was there. <laughs> oh, I was there. It, it was the real deal. Never and been to a real one, but um, oh. yeah, it, it was scary. Yeah. And uh, I was one of the only female uh, characters on the show, and being in between all this testosterone <laughs> was scary. And a lot of you might recognize Ignacio. Congratulations, Lost in Space. Thank Yay. you. It was a great show. I oh, loved thank it. You. I binged it. Season Thanks two is so coming. Much. Did you watch the show Lost in Space? Yes. Yeah, so when do you start shooting Lost in Space again? I leave in, I don't know when this airs, but, but I leave in four days. Great. Four days? So, so you already left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here. Actually, he's I'm not, not here. here. I'm in Vancouver. 
<laughs> yeah, I leave. Uh, yeah, I leave very soon. We're starting the second season. Yeah. Well, sounds great, guys. At Recluso, on Telemundo. 10 p.m. On Telemundo. <laughs>